How's it going, y'all? Today we're going to rebuild the master cylinder on a couple of my Yamahas. This is something I've never done before. So we've got, uh, of course, our service manual on hand, which shows all the breakdown of the parts. And got a rebuild kit also. Rebuild kit here that has some of the basic seals, spring, this guy here, I don't know all the terminology just yet, push rod, clip, sir clip right there, this large washer, number seven, so basically everything in here is going to be replaced, and the reason I've felt like diving into this uh, this diaphragm right here cylinder boot it's called number five cylinder boot oh, I was just getting really dry rotted on my bike I was getting severely cracked in here and uh, just noticed a lot of wear on a lot of these parts on my uh, bike that's yeah it's got a few hours on it but this is something I've never bothered with before so we'll do a video and learn how to do it together it doesn't look all that difficult and let's go look at the bike itself show you what we're going to be looking at all right we've got the Master cylinder removed from the bike. I still need to disconnect the brake line here and, of course, drain the fluid out of it here. But what we'll be looking at... Get her to focus here. Inside there, you see the, that circlip and that washer, which are these two guys here which are on the diagram six and seven and of course number five the cylinder boot will be replaced as well as this guy here which is number four the push rod which actually actuates the hydraulic mechanism inside there and the original one, you know, it just started to get cracked. This is to prevent dirt from getting up in there. It was just looking kind of nasty. And of course, the push rod starts to get wear on it as well from so much use and dirt. Okay, so we're going to swap it out with the new one from our kit here nice new boot compared to this one that's very very brittle it's original you know this is off of a 2009 model so quite a bit of hours on this guy here where this one has a lot more solid feel to it same with the washer and the clip they'll just do better so we're going to disconnect, you know, we're going to pull that circlip out of there as well as that washer. Pull everything apart as you see in the diagram here. All of these guys will be removed. And then we'll clean everything out inside the master cylinder. I'm sure it's going to be kind of nasty even though the fluid is pretty fresh. I try to, uh, you know, bleed my brakes fairly frequently. But we're still going to remove all that fluid and inspect everything inside. And once we get all it torn apart, we'll take some more video and see how it looks. So we'll be right back. 